So when replacing a strut, this is a Mercedes C-Class 203, one of the more interesting struts out there. An easy way to do it is with this machine. So you lock it into place, not firmly, just like this. Make sure that it's tension free mounted in the machine, up straight like this, up straight like this. Once positioned, we go to the top jaws. So you just slide them into place and make sure that it's symmetrically. So once you've positioned them, you can see the symmetry on these four holes in the machine. You go down and what you want is you want the top bearing to be free. One does not touch the spring with this machine. That makes it unique. So you want the top bearing to be free. So you go all the way down until the moment that the strut is actually tension. The bearing is tension free. Now that it's tension free, we have a special key to unlock the safety of the strut. The safety is actually this small ring. So when you put that out place, take away the top bearing, and then you guide the spring upwards. This is a rather nasty spring because it's incredibly long. We do this manually, so we have control, and we actually feel the tension that we're applying or reducing in this case. When fully released, make sure you take it up a little bit higher. So, with a new spring, you always have a little bit more room. And you immediately see what kind of shape this spring is. Slide it on the beaks, take it apart, replace what you need to replace, and then putting it back together. Very important, position the spring, hold it into place like this, and make sure that you can see the piston through the hole. Then you position the beaks, jaws, whatever you want, want to call them, and you position them symmetrically. And then you go down. Gently make sure that it's completely covered, very easy. The moment you arrive at the piston, there's a couple of things one should notice. One, you're not entirely on top of the piston. So in order to achieve that, you can even out, and then you can go from left to right. But with the key provided with the tool, you can even use the compression of the spring to make all sorts of adjustments. The final one is that it's not centered to the hole. So then we go to the down, down and we slowly adjust the position of the piston, make it center. The moment you have that, you go further down. until the vehicle ride height, which is this. Then you reposition the bearing, put the safety back into place. 80 newton meters and release tension. Done.